गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर वरुण पांडुला फ्रॉम विजडम सुपर स्पेशलिटी डेंटल क्लिनिक ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ जूनियर डेंटिस डॉट कॉम टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मैगजिलरी एक्सट्रैक्शन फोर्सिप्स द एक्सट्रैक्शन फोर्सिप्स विच आर यूज फॉर रिमूविंग मैगजिलरी टीथ राइट फ्रॉम द एंटीरियर्स टू द पोस्टीरियर्स और द विजडम टीथ सो हैज वी हैव सीन इन द मैंडुलर एक्सट्रैक्शन फोर्सिप्स विच यू कैन फाइंड in the description below the link to the video uh, there are uh, five types of maxillary extraction forceps one is the anterior extraction forceps or the incisors the second one is the premolar extraction forceps third one is the molar extraction forceps all three are the molar extraction forceps there are different types of extraction forceps for the molar depending on the shape of the beak so i'll be explaining each in detail later on in the video this one is the third molar forceps this is designed in a way to give us the access to the third molar and this is the root tip forceps or the root forceps so coming to the anterior forceps or the incisor forceps we can see here that the anterior forceps is straight in comparison you can see that the premolar forceps is curved the molar forceps is curved the third molar forceps and all the other maxillary forceps are curved this helps in giving us proper access and hold but the anterior forceps is straight this is because the anterior teeth or the maxillary anterior teeth are easily accessible and in the front and this gives us proper position so this is the anterior maxillary extraction forceps which is in a straight line and coming to the parts of the extraction forceps we just to revisit the uh, parts this is the the handle the hinge and the beak so coming to the anterior forceps this is straight the beak of the forceps is straight uh, in comparison to the mandibular anterior forceps the tip of the beak the tip of the beak is not attached to each other or there is a little spacing in between the tip of the beak this is because the maxillary anteriors are a, lit, a little bit thicker labiolingually in comparison to the mandibular teeth so here this is how we engage the teeth in the maxillary anterior tooth now coming to the premolar forceps so this can also be used in extraction of the canine so we can see that there is a slight curvature in the handle there is a slight curvature in the handle this is to help us grip the forceps properly to give us a proper grip to the forceps and and this is because in the posterior teeth for easy accessibility we can hold the forceps in such a way and then engage the teeth and give the required motions so the beak of the premolar forceps is similar to the mandibular forceps there is a little spacing in between the tip of the beak and the beaks are wider in comparison to the anterior forceps now coming to the molar forceps the molars of the maxillary teeth have three roots as you know it has three roots one is the palatal root and the two buccal root mesio buccal and disto buccal so to engage or uh, have a grip on the teeth there has to be one side of the the buccal side has to have a grip proper grip into the so the molar forceps because it has two roots on the buccal side and one root on the palatal side on the palatal side as you can see in the see here i i show i have taken an extracted molar and i'm going to show you how it is how we to engage the root uh, engage the tooth in the maxillary molars so this is so this is a molar from the second quadrant as you can see the palatal root is on the inner side and the buccal roots are on this side so this forceps is is a, a forceps which is used to extract the palatal uh, sorry second quadrant or the left side of the maxillary arch so here this is how you engage the this is in the type of a cow horn forcep one side of one side of it is in the form of a cow's horn and the other side is 
typical as a typical uh, molar forceps beak so this is how you engage the the palatal beak engages the palatal root properly whereas the cow horn or the buccal side uh, beak it engages in inter in the furcation area of the two buccal roots the mesiobuccal and the distobuccal roots so this is how it is engaged the tooth is engaged uh, and then the required movements are given so coming to the types of molar molar forceps so now as you have seen the this is the extraction forceps of the second quadrant so how does the extraction forceps of the first quadrant look so it is exactly opposite the cow horn type or the horn the cow horn type of the beak is on the opposite side so so this the beak it engages into the furcation area of the buccal roots whereas the the wider end of the beak it engages the palatal root so this is so this is the molar forceps of the first quadrant this is the molar forceps of the first quadrant so you can see the difference between the molar forceps of the first quadrant and the second quadrant here they are opposite to each other you can see here so this is how you identify Uh, molar forces of the second quadrant and this is the molar forces of the first quadrant and this is also a molar forceps of the first quadrant but here the palate the um, the buccal groove buccal uh, beak is not as a cow horn but is in the shape of a molar forcep root what's a beak sorry now coming to the third molar forcep so this is the third molar forcep which has a longer hand, longer handle and as a, and also the longer beak the beak curves in an angle so this gives this helps in giving reach to the third molar because it is difficult to access the third molar so this gives us proper reach and here you can see that with the use of the longer handle and the longer beak you can access the third molar easily and this is used to grip the third molar in such a way you can grip the third molar like this A little deeper into the tissue, which cannot be shown in the typhoidon teeth, deeper into the tissue, and then give the required movements. So this makes it much easier for you to access the third molar and get it extracted. And this is the root tip forcep, or the root forceps, which we call it. So these are used to extract the broken roots or broken tips. This, the beaks of the root tip forceps, is meet each other. So this gives us grip to. engage the root tips which are very narrow or thin so this can be used to extract the root tips of anteriors premolars molars or third molars any root in particular so now that we have seen all the types of third mo molar forceps of the maxillary uh, jaw maxillary arch hope that we have we have cleared all your doubts if you have any doubts in identifying each type of molar forceps from the for left molar forceps to the right molar forceps or the first quadrant forceps to the second quadrant forceps you can just ping me or leave a message i'll be explaining the particular difference between the each uh, forceps in detail in the next video so thank you everyone hope you have understood and please subscribe if you like my content i'll be sure i'll be sharing much uh, different content similar to this in the channel please subscribe to juniordentist.com